dear friend. I'm in the archives again. There is a quality of light, slithered, silvered, slightly tarnished or greyed. It makes me think of very early summer mornings, like today or late afternoons in the autumn. You die in November 1935. The ash trees in the Parc Monceau would have finally lost their leaves. The sunlight comes through the windows, so it must be afternoon, and the barometer is shown that the weather is set fair. The desk is empty, the chair is pushed back. This is the house in the act of becoming a museum. It is becoming its record. It has aura. I'm going back to archives, that strong pull up to those rooms high in the attics, the servants' quarters. I'm going back a hundred years. This house is like a complex mechanical box. Push this door gently. There are spaces here, silences. One thing becoming another, one person becoming another. Doors to slip through, slip away. This is an interior as performance in which you are two are a protagonist catching sight of yourself in the mirrors. Everything is multiple, mirrored, paired. It all comes alive as you move through the space. Objects are not seen by themselves, but discovered amongst others. And I know you too, to want to make something complete, to need to bring things back together. You have to know what separation feels like, feel dispersion. You start to make this house and then your son dies. The house changes. It's for him to come back to. It becomes something to give to this mutilated homeland. Dear friend, you keep the 268 letters and postcards he sent you. They're funny and warm and touching. He's 24. He has courage. He volunteers immediately, fervent. I'm sure, he writes, that if you got into a plane, you'd love it. It's a marvelous sensation. And what is curious is the great impression of security one feels. I think of you bringing this scene back from where he'd been buried during the war. That first grave marked with a cross. You needed him in your family too. I think of Beatrice, Fanny, Bertrand, Leon, who cannot come home. I think of that tunnel Ash is a redeemed substance, like dust. So how do you honour the dead? You put a photograph on your dressing table. You honour your word. Your house, his house, changes. Nassim's rooms become a shrine. His study becomes a memorial room. What is it to leave someone? You want to come in and sit and be near. The space holds the chance that they have not gone. Your house in the Rue de Monceau stays the same. You have made a space to talk to the dead, to welcome them in.